Hey guys, welcome to another video. Sorry I, I haven't posted in a long time, I've just been very busy with life. But today we're playing The Sims 4, and let's get on with the video. Okay, so I started off with this little sim, and I thought I often decide to click that little randomizer button, the little die at the bottom. And I thought that with this sim, I would try not to do that, and I would try to use The Sims base anyway. So, right there. Like here, I'm just going for the hairs. I end up going for the blue version of this hair in the end down. Um, I'm very indecisive though, so I have to look through all of them first. But I just, I don't know, I quite like the mix between the colours of the hairs. And then I go on to do her makeup. I use this little gradient lip, I absolutely love that and often there are little sliders and I will use those to make a custom lipstick but here I was just a bit lazy, couldn't be bothered to do that now I'm going in with her blush I think I'm going to keep her eyeliner maybe change the eyeshadow though changing her eye colour that's kind of scary I think I like the dark ones I don't know yeah I think I'll go with those Right, now onto her clothing. So, I could go with the full body. Right, so here is my sim. I really like her like, jumpsuit thing. That was her every day. This is her formal. I love the hair. It's from the um, high school years pack. Then there was her sporty outfit, her sleep outfit. This is her party outfit. I really like the top and like the kind of grainy texture. I ended up changing the shoes and adding in some socks. Now we have her hot weather outfit, which I love so much in her cold weather outfit. Now, a name, I think. I'll try and decide the last one first. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Right, I went with Mitchell because why not? And the first name. I'm not naming her better, don't worry. Beatrice. How do you spell Beatrice? What? B E A T R I C E? I believe. That, yeah, that looks right. Uh. I think. Right, now on to choosing the weather that we start in. I love the little animations. I think, I don't know, they're so clever and they're so pretty. I am going to go for spring. A because it's the first season, B because it's the prettiest. Now, there are all of these worlds that we can choose from, they're all different, but I want to make my sim go to university. So I think I'm going to make her live in that world. I don't know. Because I do really like the magic world as well. No, I'm going to go with the university world. I'm going to move her into There's a small house there. Anyway, these are the universities. The one on the right is kind of more classic English, old fashioned. One on the right's more like modern and kind of basically just modern day. So I'm gonna move into this house. I'm gonna get it furnished because I suck at interior design. Right, um, My computer being very slow. So this is the house. It's not the most appealing, but it will do. We can make it work. Um, I think I think we can make it work. Yeah, I'm sure I can do something to it. I think first order of business: the floors, because these floors are ugly. 
there's this one floor that I really like it's that one yeah I just I like the contrast between the two flooring and especially when it's horizontal I think it's really pretty and aesthetic right next I'm gonna change the fridge I think because this fridge is terrible for gameplay because it makes the sims, I don't know, the sims just don't like it for some reason and there is a reason for that which I have not yet learned about. Right, now changing out the oven. Hey, so there's a gap in the counter which isn't necessarily a good thing. It's really annoying me that these aren't matching. Cat is there a is there a matching swatch? Because those two wood tones look basically the same. I think if I and I prefer that because that looks even more modern. Ah, oh, it has a different stone countertop, but I don't know. That's really annoying me. So now I'm just gonna no. I just, I, I don't like those. I didn't like that table. It's just not for me. Now I'm going to go with an actual table. I really like the look of the glass table. That one. The one from the Get Famous pack, I believe. Right. And then chairs. Honestly, it's just a chair. She'll most likely be sitting on the sofa when she eats. So dining room isn't my main priority. I think the rug is not the most important thing on my list of interior design and decorating. So sofas I guess? Because a lot of sims spend most of their time on the sofa. Like most humans. I would like that one. I think it's got a nice wholesome vibe. Also, sorry about this music. It sounds like it's from the sims. It's not. But I don't know, if you're a fan of The Sims music, like I am, then amazing. But I know that some people are not, so if you are one of those people, I deeply and truly apologise. It's just for this small section. So, going on to the bedroom and the landing. Right. This is the house. It's not large, in fact, it's quite small actually. It's not extravagant, but it it will do. It's a house. Right. I really, really, really like how you can set their utensil preferences. That came in the snowy escape pack, I believe. It was either that or it was just a base game modification. But I don't want to go anywhere right now. I've just moved in. Leave me alone. Right. So, I'm going to set my utensil preference to plain wooden chopsticks, because why not? Also, guys, I am really sorry about how weird the screen is here. It, I don't know what was going on, but yeah. Sorry. So now... I'm just gonna kind of let her do what she wants to do. Mm, actually, am I? So now I feel like to get to know people, she should probably go outside, socialize with the world. I think I'm gonna make her go somewhere. Windenburg, I believe, is the name of it. It's a really good place. It's the get together pack one. And it has like a lot of nightclubs and. Things. Yeah, Windenburg. But it has like gyms, night bars, cafes, it has a library, which is insane. Right, so here we are. I don't like Nancy, but I want a friend. Right, so we're inside now. The head teacher of the high school. Oh, and Judith. Yes. 
Ah, oh, her little slower walk. Wait for it. Ah. Oh. Sorry, the little like slow celebrity walk, like being modest and proud, and then jumping around. Right Can I try? Oh, 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 Right, she is not useful. Not, no, she's useful, but she's really hard to get to with a friend. So, mm, uh, guys, just be warned, it doesn't work out. Like, at all. All I wanted was a friend. Is that too much to ask for? Um. Anyways, guys, I made two friends. Some people actually tolerate my sim, which is good because I made her um kind of wacky. But that's okay. What's life without wackiness? Oh, I really hope I didn't just stop her from going to the toilet because I don't want to be that person. Yeah, I can chat with my friend. I thought, didn't you need the... What? Mm. Okay, her, one of her friends has left. I think the other one's gonna leave soon because I believe Judith has left and she is a paparazzi. Not Judith, Judith is the celebrity. My friend is a paparazzi. Please don't leave me alone. Okay, there is someone else here. Oh, her hair is awesome. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's Jade. She is like a classic Sims character. Well, no, she's from the, she's from one of the packs, but a pack that I've had for a long time. So to me, she's a classic Sim character. Right. Uh, let's get you to the downstairs toilets. Right, she, I don't know. I think we're gonna make her go home because it's late. So, yeah. Also, tomorrow I wanna see if I can get her to enroll in a university. So, yeah, she needs sleep. Anyway, this has been a very, very chaotic run. And I mean, very chaotic. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate all of the support that you guys give to me. Keep doing what you're doing and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Please consider liking the video and possibly even subscribing to the channel. Stay positive and have a great day. Bye.